All right, so since we're talking about identifying authentication vulnerabilities, um, if you think about it here, you, you probably, if you're like me, you have uh, a bunch of different passwords. Uh, how many different passwords do you have to remember um, for your work systems? And that's, you probably know that number better than I do. How many do you have to know for personal activities? And probably the best question here is, do you use unique or complex passwords for each of those systems and then change them at least every 60 days? That's the industry best practice. Well, if you're like me, then you, you probably answered, uh, how many passwords do you have for work? Well, you know, a lot. How many passwords do you have for personal? Well, a lot. And do you use unique, complex passwords for each of the systems? Mm, yeah, maybe. I, I don't know how you guys do it, but yeah, I try. But uh, it starts to be a bit of a problem. And usually, what we what we end up doing, as you know, it's human nature, that uh, we'll actually write the passwords down. And you know, having done um, a bunch of audits on customer systems both physical audits as well as you know going out and doing um, vulnerability assessments penetration tests in the past um, people will put it underneath their keyboard the passwords they'll put it on their um, monitor they'll put it in the right drawer most people are right-handed so they'll put it to the, the drawer right on the right or right in front of the, the keyboard tray um, and that's uh, that's not good so what we usually do is we introduce people to tools like this one right here. This is KeyPass. It's uh, essentially a, a password safe is what they call. And it's an open source password management tool. You can actually go through and look at this tool and, and you know, check it out. I'm not recommending I don't have any company stock or anything, but um, go through and check out some of these screenshots here. Uh, without downloading it, and it's it's pretty neat. You know, you can see all the different windows within it. Um, but basically, it creates a secure database, uh, an encrypted database on your system. So it's it's hosted here on your device that you have, and uh, it groups it uh, in in different groups for you. Um, essentially, you can go through and say, hey, um, you know, I have an email, I got a phone, I got a CD. And then, hey, my username is this, my password is this, and it puts it into this magical database here full of all your passwords. Uh, somebody said before about a single point of failure. Uh, this would be it right here, but this is a, uh, what they usually say is you, you want to come up with one password, and that can be your master password. And you can set this to change or not change. Usually, uh, what what when I talk to people about this, they'll usually go through and uh, put in a passphrase here. So that's kind of creative, something that they know they will never forget. Um, but essentially, you know, you can go and, and look at this tool um, and you can have some fun and uh, make sure that you manage your passwords correctly. Um, you can go in there and look at the password generation, uh, whether or not you want it to, um, you know, generate and specific you know, custom profile settings here, um, forcing, you know, generated passwords here. Uh, and this is kind of neat to be able to see something like that. So it's just a, a little bit of a, uh, a way to help you manage some of the, the chaos with, with passwords. And uh, this is KeyPass. Um, you know, you, I've seen one question on the exam about this. Um, so this is just a password uh, management tool that you can use and it's uh, one of the, the most highly revered ones in the industry.